my last video i pretty much uh went over the nest the mouse nest that i found inside my engine bay under the intake manifold um so if you haven't seen that video check it out but um now what i want to move on is that you know after you, you remove a nest you know the mouse is either going to find another location so that being um the mouse then traveled uh, it's easy for the mouse to get inside a land cruiser easy and let me show you the common way is through here but basically underneath here is your cabin duck and it's easy for the mouse to get access to all they have to do is just pretty much if they can squeeze their head underneath here trust me they can get inside there also if you look here up between there is where a mouse can travel to let's do this side too so they can get they can basically walk up and go underneath here there's a vent duct so basically what i needed to do was uplift these covers and install um basically a uh protection layer to prevent them to get inside which um, I utilized some gutter guards that I had um, previously that I installed on my roof um, I had some spare gutter guard metal sheets this thing here um, I pretty much cut them down and maneuvered them um, so that way they can fit perfectly for this and that alone had help um, it, it basically prevented the mouse from getting back in. Now, in order to take this thing off, you need to take off your wiper blades. You pretty much pop this cover off and then there's bolts, well, nuts there. And you just untighten them. And once you get them untightened, then you can kind of shift your uh, wiper blade up or back some to kind of wiggle it out because there's gears that this thing sits on. Once you get both of your wiper blades off, then you're able to remove this cover. Found some uh, mice droppings inside as well as inside my uh, vehicle. Um, so I've just been pretty much, uh, you know, installing uh, uh, some holes uh, to pretty much mount the metal mesh from what i know is that uh rodents they don't like chewing on metal uh objects because it hurts the gums so more than likely i'll try to bite down on it and you know, just go away i put some poison inside and i noticed that poison and i also use a, a rodent fogger well fumigator uh just to confirm because the fogger would just spray crap everywhere so i used a fumigator which the fumigator uh, just, you know, emitted some smoke around. After about 24 hours, I came back to my uh, Land Cruiser here and noticed that I seen that the poison was pretty much uh, bitten. Um, it didn't look like it ate much, but it, it definitely chewed down some. I'm not too sure how much uh, poison a mice needs to eat before it, uh, you know, starts to, uh, the poison starts to affect the mice. My uh, hope is that the mice had ate the poison and then later went through the vent covers here um, and, you know, just walked on about its business. I've definitely noticed uh, droppings inside here. So I'm going to clean up and put the covers down and see what happens. So. As you can see, I got uh, these are the holes that I pretty much uh, marked down to drill, and that's where I'm gonna pretty much screw down the wire mesh. I got the uh, the guard metal uh, gutter guards that I'm using to uh, pretty much cover up this vent hole. 
as you can see, I'm in the process of securing it down with the screws. All the way up to that vent hole. have a screw down I just pretty much want to check to make sure that it's nice and secure that there's no uh, access for you know any mice to try to climb up through here and try to still get through so I feel it looks like it's a uh, good to go then I'm gonna put the plastic cover back on and put my uh, rubber blades back on be good to go.